guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let's start off with Ariana because I am hearing that she is planning on touring in 2023. And that she also is planning on getting back into that R&B sound. Okay? Now, one thing I like about Ariana is that she can do R&B without pandering to black people. Okay? Um, she's not like Bruno Mars who has to pander and, you know, use other black artists to sell his records. Um, but she definitely will be working with black producers, um, hip hop artists, um, because she's going to be getting back into that R&B sound. Now, I would have loved another Ariana and The Weeknd collaboration. But since The Weeknd wanted to be messy on his album, I don't know if she will give him another collaboration. And I think that The Weeknd needs to be very careful with Ariana. She's nobody to play with. Look at what happened to 6 ix career after he basically threw her under the bus and accused her of using payola. You do not mess with Ariana because allegedly, you know, she be doing them spells. Okay? So you cannot mess with Ariana. Um, there's a reason why her business is not out there like that. And that's because she's very protected. And if she really wants you out, she will make sure that you are out. Okay, so the weekend needs to tread lightly and don't put her on blast. Moving on to the queen of music. Okay, Rihanna, I'm hearing that, you know, Coachella wants her to perform in 2023 with Frank Ocean. Okay, because allegedly he is performing in 2023, which I don't mind. Only if she's putting out new music, though. If she's not putting out new music, she can stay home and prance around town with ASAP the Colorist. I do not want to see Rihanna on stage performing Diamonds or Pour It Up, um, Be Better Have My Money. I want new music. It's been six, seven years. And it really wouldn't make sense for her to perform if she's not putting out new music anyway. Um, I feel like maybe she should bring out other artists too. Bring out Camel Face, bring out Nicki, bring out Drake. Now, I know her bringing out Drake is far-fetched because they're not on the best of terms, but they have a lot of hits together, okay? She got way more hits with Drake than she does with ASAP The Colorist, okay? Um, they got Take Care. They got What's My Name. They got Work. So, it only makes sense. And then she can perform, you know, with Nicki Minaj, but... It has to be new music. So I'm not completely against it um, because I think Rihanna is definitely wanted when it comes to new music. Now, I feel like she should have performed this year, honestly, because Billie Eilish headlining makes no sense. Now, I know that she appeals to teenagers and it did sell out, but musically, nobody's really talking about Billie Eilish. Let's just be all the way 1,000. They could have chosen Dua Lipa, Dolja Cat, um, you know, who else? Olivia Rodrigo, but Billie Eilish, come on. That was just straight buffoolery. So I feel like if I wanted a replacement, because I'm not going to Coachella anyway, but if I wanted a replacement, I definitely would replace Billie Eilish, keep Harry Styles, and we can keep Kanye. But Kanye panders to the black people too much for me. I don't like Kanye. I mean, he don't even date black women, but yet he always panders. Y'all called out Big Sean. Call out Kanye. He uses y'all every time things don't go his way. He always panders to black people when things don't go his way in the industry. Call him out. How come y'all don't do that? Okay, call out everybody if you're going to call out Big Sean. Moving on to Megan Thee Stallion and Dolce Cat. I am hearing that um, they could possibly be doing a collaboration and it dropping in 2022. Now, this definitely would be a good look for Megan Thee Stallion. I feel like she does better 
when she collaborates versus when she puts out solo music. Um, you know, she had three big records in the last two years and they were collaborations. She had the record with Beyonce, Savage, okay, which was the remix. Then she had Hot Girl Summer with Nicki Minaj and WAP with Cardi B. Okay, so this would be a good look for Megan Thee Stallion. I know some people are going to say, well, why can't she do things um, by herself? Well, here's the thing. I feel like Megan Thee Stallion is more of a feature artist. Okay, um, not everybody can stand alone on a song and it do well. I mean, look at Future. Future in the last four or five years hasn't had a solo hit record. What was his last solo hit record? Mask Off. That came out in 2016, 2017. But every time he does a record with Drake or Young Thug or um, a different artist, you know, it charts. It's successful. So, you know, that could be the situation with Megan Thee Stallion. And Doja Cat is popping right now. So it makes sense as to why, you know, they would collaborate. And, you know, she also has another record with Cardi B, allegedly. And she also will be collaborating with these pop stars. Okay, because Megan Thee Stallion needs a hit record. If she does not put out any hit records in 2022, that could really ruin her career. Plus, she got this Tory Lanez case, which I did not forget about. Okay, now the case with Tasha K and Cardi B, I really don't care about. But this case with Megan and um, Tory Lanez, I am very interested in that because, you know, Tory Lanez career was affected by this. He lost money. Cardi B did not lose any money. People still want to work with her, but nobody that is mainstream really wants to work with Tory Lanez because of this um, you know, case. I mean, after the baby worked with him, his career was ruined. Okay. And I'm talking about the baby's career. So I feel like, you know, this case has to go in Megan's favor. And I feel like it's smart for her to collaborate with Dolce Cat. Now, from what I'm hearing that, you know, this record may have another artist on the song. It may not just be Doja Cat and Megan Thee Stallion. It could be similar to, you know, how French Montana put Doja Cat and Sweetie on record. So it could be somebody else's song. Um, with that being said, though, um, that song originally was supposed to have Megan Thee Stallion on it. Okay. Um, but French replaced Megan with Sweetie, which was a terrible mistake. And that record flopped. I feel like it would have done a little bit better if Megan was on the record because Megan can rap. And this is her type of song. Sweetie, she just doesn't have the bars. I'm sorry. And we all know this. Every time she drops a record, it flops. She needs help. Um, maybe she needs better writers. Or maybe she should just give up music. Either way, you know, French Montana made a terrible mistake. But let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, and subscribe.